Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this video post. In today's quick video post I want to show you some general fixes that I will do to this image. So before we even start let me just quickly zoom in here a little bit closer and just run you through. Today I want to just show you guys quickly what I'm going to do to these lips and what techniques and tools I use to retouch them a little bit. Alright so let's get started directly into it. As you guys can see, I'm still on my original layer here and we have it still as original, a smart object. I don't want that, so I will say Command J and duplicate that and just create a, another layer. Right click there, rasterize that and create a quick retouch layer. So we can retouch on that and just work on from that. So if we have a mistake, we can always fall back. Okay, on our retouch layer, quickly, I'm going to create another layer called the help layer. Just going to write help here and we're going to go over to our brush. And with the brush, just select a red foreground color over here. Okay, it's so on my help layer. I just want to show you guys, I quickly want to touch up this a little bit with liquefying tool and this over here. Create a nice round shape and the rest pretty much looks all good to me. So I'm not going to work on that too much. Just down here and here at the top. Work quickly on that. Okay, blend our help layer out. On the retouch layer, I'm just going to press M for marking tool. Get into our marking tool at the top and I will just duplicate the mouth quickly. So I'm going to make a nice selection around the mouth and press Command Z and Command V. So we duplicate it and have a new layer ready. So co copy that and pasted that actually on a new layer and I want to rename this to lips. Okay and now we have it as lips and what I'm going to do now is actually going to go to filter, liquify and we're going to go directly into the liquifying tool. Okay, so now Liquifier has rendered everything. First of all, what I want to do is take my zoom tool over here and just zoom in very closely onto the lips. And then I want to go over to my mask, freeze mask over here and just take my brush size down a little bit and just freeze some areas that I don't want to be moving. So I'm working with the continuous four board again and I can just change my brush size really quickly down here. You would have to go here up to the brush size at the top and change your brush size over there. Alright, so I'm going to paint over here really slowly and Photoshop is rendering this but it is stucking a little bit because my RAM isn't that perfect. Okay, it's going to paint over here and now I'm basically just creating a mask so when I work with my warp tool I would not going to move these areas. So also over here I don't want to move that and then I'm just going to make my brush size a little bit smaller again say up to 50% somewhere around there and then it's going to paint in that a little bit and also here at the top I don't want to move that at all alright and also here it's gonna blend that off okay now we created the mask like that that's perfect for me then I'm gonna go over here to my warp tool and with the warp tool I'm just gonna make my brush size a little bit bigger again say around 160 percent somewhere there and now I just want to move this little hill here away okay so I'm just gonna push this in a little bit and as you guys can see we made a nice mask here so all our surroundings are not moved with it so that's really good okay move that in a little bit that looks good and then I also want to move in this bump a little bit over here so I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger and just push this in a little bit over here a little bit more okay so we get a nice round shape over here this lip side also a little bit so we have a really nice round shape okay over here everything at the top looks good to me a little bit on the side here and then now we have a nice shape everything is good and I'm gonna say OK and now Photoshop is gonna render it and bring it back into Photoshop okay now back in Photoshop you guys can already notice the difference as I'm turning this layer off and on off and on as you guys can see there we have already gotten a little bit of a push there alright so that's actually my first step that I wanted to do on the slips then I'm still gonna go on the slips layer here and I will just retouch something really slightly I'm gonna move with my healing tool and just zoom in a little bit over here and I just want to retouch this a little bit so with my wheel here from my vacuum continuous four board and healing tool I'm just going to brush over here a little bit Okay, just fix that a little bit. Don't want that to be ha so harsh. Okay, and a little bit over here as well. Okay, very slight over there. Okay, that looks good to me. Then I'm going to press Command-0 to just get a full view perspective. And actually zoom in a little bit more. 
and I just want to clean it up a little bit around here so with my healing brush I'm just also going to press alt here sample a little bit around here then also down here I just want to fix that a little bit I'm going to show you guys in the next tutorial I'll show you guys a little bit more on some advanced stuff on skin retouching so stay tuned for next week when I want to show you guys some more tricks on skin retouching alright gonna go over there I want to also clean this up a little bit so we have the lips really nice and clean okay and now a few last steps that I'm going to do on this lips is basically just create a little bit of a pop on these lips so I'm gonna go back to adjustment layer in adjustment layer I'm gonna go to my curves and in curves I just want to tweak my shadows and my dark areas a little bit so I'm gonna go over here and just take my shadows and just turn those down a little bit I'm gonna blend out this layer then we're gonna go back into adjustment layers again to curves and then I'm just going to brighten my highlights a little bit just to get a little bit of a pop in there alright and then also going to actually select the layer over here of my mask and say command E to invert that mask go back to my second layer over here my second curves let me just go quickly back in adjustments and navigator so we have a little bit of more space here in our layers okay select the second layer S sorry select the first layer and say command E again so we invert that as well and now we actually have a hidden mask so now I can go over with my brush and white foreground color and say at around almost 40 50 percent opacity I can paint in these dark areas so let me just turn off my brush size here and with control alt hold that together I can get into my feathering mode I'm also going to feather my brush quite a lot and then just turn my brush size down a little bit again and just brush over here a little bit and a little bit more just to get these dark parts out of the lips over here a little bit and down here make my brush size a little bit smaller so we create a little bit of a depth in there okay I'm gonna turn up my opacity a little bit more and just a little bit more over here and down here on the lips as well down here so we create a little bit of a 3d round shaped lips okay a little bit like that then we're gonna go back to my second layer which is our highlights so now I'm gonna work exactly with the same just my opacity down to 40 percent again okay and now on the highlights just pump that a little bit paint a little bit over here on our highlights and then here also at the top a little bit on the highlights not too much maybe turn them down a little more say to 20 percent and just over here a little bit and over there and a little bit in here okay and that's all then I'm gonna select both of these layers create a group with command G and write there pop and I'm gonna take my lips and retouch layer or actually not my retouch layer just lips and pop command G again create a master group and write there lips okay that's all that I'm gonna do then I'm gonna zoom out again and now I can quickly just show you guys a before and after if I'm blending that out this is our before and after before and after so that was our first part on just general fixes how we're going to touch up the lips a little bit next week I will show you guys some steps on the advanced skin retouching so stay tuned if you still have any problems with this please email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za I'm glad to help you guys with your questions my name is Manny and see you all next week bye bye